absolutely, I, I, would, I highly recommend picking up this book. It's called Master Your Workday Now. Uh, once again, the author is Michael Linenberger, uh, and it's, it is the best book on time management that I've ever read. I'm really excited about this thing. I'm really excited about implementing it into my day-to-day -day life and my schedule. Um, it's it's uh, definitely worth it to pick up. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is rapid weight loss. So just as a recap, um, about a month ago, so th about 30 days ago, myself and another blogger named Tyler Cruz, uh, we decided to challenge ourselves to see if we can lose 6% um, of our body fat over a 10 week period of time. And just to apply a little bit of leverage, um, to kind of light a fire under our butts, uh, we each put aside 600 bucks to uh, basically say if if I don't reach my goal, my target goal of losing that 6%, uh, I, I'm gonna have to basically pay Tyler Cruz $600 for losing the challenge. So that was uh, 30 days ago, and I put together a plan at that time using the, the Tony Robbins stuff. Um, I created a top level goal and a top level vision for what I want my body to look like. and. The first step that I wanted to follow in that is I wanted to give myself 30 days to try to lose weight in a way that I've never tried to lose before. So in the past, every time I've ever done any kind of weight loss program, I've always taken the rapid, hardcore type of drastic changes, let's change everything right now, uh, let's see how quickly I can lose weight uh, type of approach. And in most cases it's worked for me, short term, and I've lost weight, but when I fall off the plan, I end up gaining it back. So this time what I wanted to try uh, is I wanted to try a different path. I wanted to basically try to make some small changes instead of just trying to change my diet all overnight in one day. I wanted to kind of take a more gradual approach where I just make a few small changes every day and hopefully those changes over time will add up and help me to lose weight. I gave myself 30 days to try that system out to see if it'll work for me and so far I've lost two pounds uh, I'm trying to lose 13 for this challenge so far I've lost two pounds and I'm to be honest with you guys I'm not very happy with that and I don't think the system is working for me at all I don't know if everyone's like this but for me I find it much easier to lose weight fast than I do trying to do this long-term approach it's kind of like quitting smoking I'm the guy that would want to like quit cold turkey and just stop smoking one day and never do it again instead of trying to cut down the amount of cigarettes I smoke over time it just it just doesn't work for me so uh, I gave it 30 days I only lost two pounds and at this rate I'm never gonna hit the 13 pound weight loss goal target that uh, we set for the challenge so I'm gonna be making some changes and this Monday I'm actually going to be applying even more leverage on myself to uh, doing this challenge I'm going to talk about that in a second but essentially what we've got is we've got about 40 days left in the challenge so I've got about 11 maybe 12 pounds to lose still and what I want to do is um, starting this Tuesday I'm going to be making some drastic changes to my diet um, but this Monday what I'm actually doing is I'm going to see a natural doctor and we're going to be doing something called live blood analysis and essentially what that is is that we're going to be taking a look at we're going to take a blood sample and we're going to be looking at what my blood looks like under a microscope and most uh, blood analysis in the past has been done with something called dried blood um, where the blood is basically you're just looking at it under a slide under a microscope and the blood is dead it's it's dried up um, and you're just kind of looking at it with live blood analysis um, essentially you're looking at your blood while it's still alive so you got you can actually see the little uh, red blood cells floating around and white blood cells floating around and possibly even little parasites or anything like that so this analysis um, allows the doctor that you're um, uh, going to to actually look at the, the blood and give you a 
a much broader spectrum of information about what's going on in your body. So um, it's kind of like another uh, before and after picture type of scenario where uh, instead of just taking a picture of myself before and you know measuring my weight and my and my uh, measurements, um, this is actually going to allow me to take a before picture of my blood before I make the changes to my diet um, over the next couple of weeks and uh, it also what I'm hoping it's going to do is it's actually I'm hoping that it'll actually apply some more leverage and light a fire under my butt when I see what my blood looks like under the microscope because I know right now I'm not eating healthy I'm drinking pop I'm not taking care of my body but in a way I'm still not really like I'm not really unhealthy I feel I feel fine so um, when it comes to eating unhealthy the challenge with it is is that what we do today it doesn't it doesn't manifest itself the effects of it don't manifest themselves today they might manifest themselves you know five years or ten years from now so um, so it's kind of hard for your mind to uh, have the the desire and the um, you know have that motivation to make changes because it's so easy to just keep going with the, with the bad diet habits so what I'm hoping for this to do is by looking at my blood under the microscope if I see what it see what it looks like and I'll see that my blood is not healthy hopefully that'll kind of light a fire under my butt and say look I need to make some changes um, because if this is what's happening with my blood right now it's just a matter of time before I start to manifest some kind of disease or something like that so uh, this Monday I'm going to see the doctor we're going to do live blood analysis I'm hoping to be able to get some video um, that I'll be able to show you guys in my next uh, polymath show and give you guys a picture of um, you know like a before picture of what my blood looks like before I make the changes to my diet and this is actually a, a long-term plan as well it's a uh, it's something that we we do an analysis now and then there, I think there's another one I think about th three weeks from now in week three or four um, then there's another one three months from now and six months from now and then a year from now so I'm gonna actually get like multiple samples uh, multiple analysis of my blood over the next uh, year or so and as I implement the changes that I'm implementing in my diet I'll also be able to see how those changes have um, affected my blood over that period of time so I think it's really cool I'm excited about this uh, I can't wait to go there on Monday and check it out and see what my blood looks like um, so yeah that's pretty much it stay tuned for that uh, we'll be doing that uh, I hope to get the samples in maybe on Tuesday and possibly get them out to you guys produce a show uh, another show on Wednesday maybe and give you an idea of what uh, what live blood analysis is about show you what my blood looks like under the microscope and then um, uh, maybe even reveal a couple of the things that I'm gonna be changing to my diet starting on Tuesday so that's it for this show. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it and see you guys next time.